and welcome techies I'm Sambhav here this is the fourth part on order buy in SQL and the seventh video in case you have not watched my previous videos on SQL please go ahead and check them out I will attach the link in the description for you in the previous videos we have discussed about the syntax of order by how to order a table based on numeric and character columns using order by with a you uh, with an alias name how to use order by with some expressions and also the column number in case you have any questions please feel free to post your questions in the comment section in today's session we are going to talk about order by with null values how to use order by along with where clause we will also talk about the execution order of order by and where clause together We'll have some practical sessions and as usual, I will give you some assignment questions for you to practice. So let's get started. So the first topic which we're going to discuss today is using order by with null values. Now, even before we start, we jump into sorting our tail table which, uh, with null values, let us first understand what is a null value. In general, null value is used as a marker to indicate two things either the data is missing or the data is unknown that means whenever you see any column or any row which is marked with null values you must understand that this is to represent a missing data or the data is unknown now whenever we are trying to sort a particular table based on a column containing null values the SQL will always treat the null values to be as the highest value in that particular column right that is why you will always notice that the null values will be placed at the bottom at the bottom of your table whenever it is sorted in ascending order similarly the null values will be placed at the top at the top of the table whenever it is sorted in the descending order now the, this is a basic syntax of uh, order by where I have also ex given you how to use the null so select statement define the list of column names from to define from which table you are pulling up this columns this is to define the table name then you use order by and then you can define the column name or expression the sorting expression which we have already discussed in the previous video then you can also define whether you want to sort the data in ascending or descending order by using the keyword ASC or DESC now we know that ascending is a default option so you may use or you may not use the ASC which stands for ascending then you have to use nulls first or last then you have to use nulls first or last please be mindful about the word it is nulls it is not null its plural form its nulls first or last now let us understand what does this nulls first or nulls last do so as you know that by default whenever you order a table based on a particular column the SQL engine will always treat the null values at as a highest value and whenever you're sorting the data in ascending order due to that reason it will always place your null values at the end so when you use the nulls first what it does is it's it is mostly used to override the default option nulls first will place all the null values at the top nulls last will place all the null values at the bottom let's assume that you are trying to sort the data in the ascending order now the moment you sort the data based on the ascending order the entire null values will be placed at the last but suppose your requirement is to place all the null values on the top in that situation you will use nulls first similarly if you uh, whenever you're sorting the data in the descending order so by default SQL will place the null values at the bottom so, sorry at the top but if you need to move all the null values rows at the last then you will use the option nulls last now let us try to understand this with few examples so let me copy these three questions and let me paste it here so that we can work on it so let me comment it out and let me start working on it so I have created another table called as demo null let me show it to you select star from demo null and let me execute this so that I can 
show you the data set. This is a very small data set which contains only three columns called as customer ID, customer name and amount. And you see they have some values along with null values. Now the question says sort the demo table in the ascending order of customer ID. Now let me sort the data. Select star from demo underscore null and then I'll say order by and order by and I'll specify the column name which is nothing but customer ID. Now this is how we are going to sort the data. Now here I have not specified any options. So the first thing which you should be mindful about is the default option is ascending order. That means now this entire table will be sorted in the ascending order of customer ID. Second thing we have also seen that the null values are treated to be as the highest value right so what will happen is when you sort the data in the ascending order of the customer id all the nulls value will be placed at the end let me execute this and show it to you so you see all the null values are placed at the bottom right that is how that is the nature of null values now <clears throat> let's go to the next one sort the demo table in the ascending order of the customer id and use a null option let me do the same thing so this is the same question basically and let's explore the option of nulls value now even if i execute this query you know that by default the sql engine will treat the null value to be as the highest value and it will place them place them at the bottom but what if i want all the null values to be at the top so all I have to do is I will use the option nulls first nulls first now the moment I execute this all these nulls value will be will be placed on the top so you see all the null values have come on the top now similarly suppose I am using an option called as nulls last I am using an option nulls last so what will it do? It will place all these nulls value at the bottom, which is also the default option. Even if you do not use nulls last, the behavior will remain the same. That means this null value will be at the bottom, right? So that is how the nulls last and nulls first option can be used in your ascending order. Now let's look into the next question. The next question says, sort the demo null table in the descending order of their customer id and move all the null values at the last right so let's say select star from demo underscore null and then i have to sort the data in the descending order of the customer id so i will say order by it's like it's the same question order by customer id or let me use another column let's say amount order by amount and then i will say uh, okay let's sort only this much amount column right so you see these are the treated to be as the highest value the nulls value in the amount column are treated to be as the highest value so they are placed at the bottom but what if i want them all the nulls value to be placed on the top so all i have to do is nulls first nulls first then the moment i execute it you will see the data is sorted in the ascending order and all the null values are placed on the top so you see 100 500 and 600 so this is how the options there are two options for the nulls which is nulls first and nulls last this is how they actually work right i hope this is clear to you now let's get into the next topic which is order by with where clause so you might have used where clause to filter your data based on different types of conditions you can also use the where clause along with order by so order by can be used with your where condition to sort the data based on some conditions let's look into the syntax the syntax is pretty pretty straightforward select specify the list of column names use the from to define the table name then you use the where statement and the condition the condition will have let's say for example you can have a column name followed by uh, you know any kind of expression or uh, conditions like equal to greater than less than and so on and so forth and then some value so that is how you create your where condition we will see that in our example then you use order by and then 
uh, column name or expression whatever you want you can also define ascending or descending nulls first nulls last all these things we have seen now here you will see I have mentioned two columns which is nothing but ordering your table based on multiple columns right which is all which we also call it as multi-level sorting which we will see it in our upcoming video here you should be very much mindful about this your where condition will always be before the order by in the syntax in the syntax you must specify where statement before order by now there are a few questions here let's try to solve these questions to have more clarity on this topic so let's see <clears throat> So this is the two questions. The first question says, sort the film table in the ascending order of the replacement cost. So let me pull out the film table first. Select star from film, right? Let me execute it so that we can look at our data set. So this is our data set which contains film ID, title, description, right? other columns like release year, language ID, rental duration, rental rate, length and so on and so forth, right? So it says sort the film table in the ascending order of replacement cost. Ascending order of the replacement cost means lowest replacement value on the top and the highest replacement value at the bottom. For R rated movies only, that means if you look at we have a column called as a rating where different types of ratings are given like NC-17, R, PG-13, PG, G and so on and so forth. But we need to perform this ordering only for the R rated movies, right? Also find the top 10 movies based on their replacement cost for, I mean, definitely for the R rated movies. Let me solve this question piece by piece. So first thing let's do select star from film. Let me first filter the data out select star from film and then I can say where rating is equal to R. You should not be using small r because we know that the character values in SQL are case sensitive so I'll use capital R. Now let me execute this and you see it has returned 195 rows. And you see we have only R-rated movies now. We, all, we have all these R-rated movies now. Now, let me apply the order by. So I can say order by, order by replacement cost. Replacement underscore cost. And it is in the ascending order. So it is not mandatory for me to use the keyword ascending but if I want I can definitely use that you know that there isn't any problem so now the table is sorted and you can see now the replacement cost starts from 999 right then it gradually increases to 1099 11 12 1399 and so on and so forth because we are sorting the data in the ascending order and ascending is the default option in case if you want to explicitly specify the option you can say ASC this will not change the result. This will give the same result because ascending is a default option and here all we are trying to do is we are trying to explicitly specify ASC. So there is no change in our result. Now this is what it has been asked, right? Select, sort the film table in the ascending order of the replacement cost which we can see for the R rated movies. Also find the top 10 movies based on the replacement cost. So all I have to do is I will say limit 10. Now this is a separate question. Actually this is a separate question. Since it is in ascending order, we'll not be able to find the top 10 movies. So what we have to do is the second part basically says it should be in the descending order because maximum replacement cost should be identified. So what we will do is we will, let me borrow this query. So this, this, this question actually has two parts basically. You can say there are two questions, right? So now I'm saying DESC, right? And then let me execute it and you will see that now the entire table is sorted in the descending order of the replacement cost for only for R-rated movies. So you see highest R-rated movies are 29.99 and so on and so forth. And gradually it starts decreasing to 28.99, 27.99, 26.99 and so on and so forth. Now the question says, hey, can you please find the 
top 10 movies right so I'll all I need to do is I will use limit 10 so that it can show me the top 10 movies that means the first 10 movies will be extracted and you see it has written only 10 rows and these are those 10 movies right these are those film ID 10 movies or 10 films and this is the replacement cost right so this is a solution of the first question now let's get into the second question the second question says find the top three female customers whose product purchase price is highest from the customer order table now let me first pull out the table select star from customer order right and let me execute this piece of code so that we can see our customer order table so this is our customer order table which is a small one right <clears throat> so this customer order table contains customer ID customer name gender product category product name and price so it says find the top three female customers whose product price uh, whose product purchase price is highest from the customer order table now first thing looking at this particular question the first thing we should understand is we need to filter first the female customers only so we have a column called as gender and the female values you see is represented in various ways like F with capital female right then we have capital F female in lowercase then you know only F in lowercase and so on and so forth so let us first filter the data out so we will say select star from customer order and then we'll say where gender in and we will specify all the different types of female values f e m a l e female then we have capital f then we have lowercase female female and then we have lowercase f right now if i execute this you will notice that only the female values have been pulled out right so we have already done the filtration now we need to do the order by we need to perform the order by so ordering we have to do perform on the price column and we have to find the highest price i mean it has to be sorted in the descending order why the reason is because we have to find top three female customers whose product purchase price is highest so let's sort the data based on the price so we'll say order by price order by price DESC descending now let me execute this piece of code so you'll see now Rita Danny Rekha Mary these are the customers right the, whose uh, product purchase price is highest let's say this is 21,000 14,000 11,000 2,000 and so on and so forth now the question also says hey you must also use alias name for price column for ordering so you will do that we will do that but let us complete this question first the first so it wants only the top three female customers so all I can do is I all I have to do is just add limit three which will f which will show me the first three rows so the top three customers based on their product purchase price are Rita Danny and Rekha right now now the let me now abide by this question which says hey you must use the alias column for the alias name for the price column right amount now let me select few columns select now let us pull up few columns customer ID comma uh, let's say customer name then let me have gender then let's say product underscore name and let's have price right now let's say from the table what's the table name customer order right and let me execute this so I am selecting few columns the first step is I'm just selecting few columns to pull out the data now let's give an alias name to few of the columns let's say I'm saying customer name let's say gender gender let's call it by sex so we can use a keyword as in order to <clears throat> add an alias name for the gender column similarly for product we can use as for amount 
so it is not mandatory that you must use as to alias without as also it will work fine no problem but I prefer using as because it gives me clarity that now the price column is known as amount the gender column is known as sex right now if I execute this what will happen it will you will see that all these column names will, will appear with an alias name sex and then amount right now we have to apply the where condition so we have already seen where gender in this so let me copy this in fact let me copy the entire part right this is what we were supposed to do <clears throat> now let's look at the complete query let me drag it down so this is our complete query select customer id customer name so now gender column is known as sex product name price and is known as amount from the customer order table and then we have specified the filter condition using where statement where gender in female uh, f female and f order by price in the descending order now let me not execute limit for the time being right let us me delete this let us execute this and see the result right of course we are getting it now it says that I must be using an alias name amount for ordering so in spite of price I would use amount a m o u n t amount so here I am not using the actual column name from the table I am not using the actual column name from the table which is amount but right now I am using so actual column name from the table right now I am using amount which is an alias name for the price so will it work yes definitely definitely it is going to work we have already seen that in our previous video right we have also seen the execution order right so you see now the data is sorted based on the amount column only for the female customers right now the question is can I use sex which is an alias column name for gender to filter the data let's try that sex in female f female and f trust me this is not going to work this is not going to work the column sex does not exist now why is SQL throwing this error because I have already said I have already defined sex to be as an alias column for gender but looking at the error looks like SQL is not able to identify the gender column as sex what is the reason behind it first of all you must be very much mindful you must be very much careful that where condition does not work with alias names where condition does not work with alias name let me write it here where condition does not work with alias name order by order by works with alias name works with alias name now what is the reason for that this is an interview question generally in your interview you might be asked okay we know that the where condition does not work with alias name but order by does but why what is the reason that the where condition does not work with an alias name but order by works with an alias name the reason is very simple guys it is only because of the execution order the reason is very simple it is only because of the execution order so the first when you're writing this statement when you're writing this particular statement so the first statement which SQL engine executes is from clause the first statement which SQL engine executes is nothing but your from clause so this is the first statement which gets executed the second statement which SQL executes is where clause that is a filter condition so this filter condition is used to is used to sort the data which is applied to filter that which is applied to filter out the data is executed in the second order so let me fix this so this should be actually a gender right no problem you know that SQL is not case sensitive so definitely it will work with this also so where condition executes in the second place then comes the select statement then comes a select statement and then the order by 
So then my select statement is getting executed and then the order by. So what is happening here? So whenever you're trying to filter a, a data using a where condition with an alias name, it will not work. The reason is because the first statement which SQL has executed is from, the second statement which SQL has executed is where, but by the time it is executing where, it has not even executed your select statement. So it has not created this alias name yet. That means when it is trying to apply this filter condition, whenever it is trying to apply this filter condition using where statement, my select statements have not executed. If the select statements are not executed, means these alias names have not created it. That means till now, when this SQL engine is trying to execute the where condition, this sex alias name has not been created yet for gender. This price column is not being not yet being aliased as amount. So the SQL does not know if you are trying to filter, it does not know the alias name if you are trying to filter the data based on where condition. After the where condition, then only the select statement gets executed and finally the order by. So by the time order by gets executed, this select statement has been executed already. That is why, that is why you will see that the order by can be the the ordering of the table can be performed based on the alias name. This is the main reason, right? There's one more question for us. Let's try to solve this. Let's try to solve this question. The question says, hey, order the city table by country ID for the country ID from one to 10. So let me pull out the city table, select star from city, right? And let's execute this to look at our data set. So our data set contains only four columns, right? So let me select only few columns. I don't need all of them. Uh, just let me have city underscore ID comma city comma country ID country underscore ID, right? And let me say from city table, from city table. Let me execute this. So we got these three columns. Now the question says from the city table, city table, order the table based on the city. Order the city table by, sorry, country ID for the country ID from one to 10. Means first we'll apply the where condition where now let's say even if i say here country id let me add an alias name as country code country code so i'll say from where country underscore id in uh, one to ten right so i'll say one comma two comma three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then i'll say order by country ID now let me execute only uh, let me only execute my let me execute my query only till the where statement first so you see I have got only uh, these country IDs one two three four five six up to ten right now I am saying order by country ID now if I execute this definitely my table will be sorted based on the country code and the smallest country code will be on the top one followed by no higher values like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right now, let us try using the alias name once again. So, first, let us use the alias name for the order by. We will say country code, country code, and let's uh, use descending option this time. Let's execute this query. So, you see, the table has been sorted based on the country code in the descending order where the highest country code has come on the top. Right now. Let us try to use a country code in our where statement, the alias name. As you already know, this will not work at all. Why? Because by the time SQL engine is trying to execute the where statement, it, is, it does not know what this country code is. So let me execute and show you the result. You see, country code does not exist because 
by the time it is trying to execute your where statement the select statement has not been executed because select statement will be executed only after the where statement execution so it when it is executing the where statement it does not know what a country code is so here i should be using country id itself so let me execute this once again and let me see if it works yes of course it works so you see i am able to filter the data country code from 1 to 10 the country code to be from 1 to 10 and then i'm able to order the data based on the country code in the descending order so this is this is exactly how the order by works with where clause you must always remember this order the first one is from then it is where then it is select and the fourth one is group by uh, I have also given few assignment questions for you to practice. Please try these questions out. In case you have any questions, feel free to post your questions in the comment section. Anyway, I'm going to solve all these questions in our next video. Now guys, if you want to continue learning SQL or Python or data science, machine learning, AI with me, please like and subscribe my channel. Also hit the bell icon to receive notifications for my upcoming video. Thank you so much for your time and patience and you have a great day ahead. Thank you.